All right, you guys, check it out. Uh, we got Ren with Insomnia. All right, so welcome back to the channel. Uh, we're going down the Ren rabbit hole. Uh, just trying to make sure I cover all my bases, but this is one of the ones you guys asked for. So let's check this out. What is it all for? I've asked myself that question so many times now, it's become more worn than my Reebok classics. I'm a slave to frivolous habits. Of introspection without any destination, ruminating thoughts in constant rotation, is this what it means to be conscious? To constantly question our conscious? Despondently fall on my back horizontally, under my bed there are monsters that visit me when I try to sleep. They're those thoughts that play on repeat, the say you're in. You're always gonna suffer, Ren. You're always gonna suffer. And I boomerang between optimism and pessimism so much that my sanctuary could be a prison. What blinds me could give me vision. And what finds me is this indecision of what to do with these questions. Man, just that beginning piece right there just sounded like such a, it's just great poetry. Um, say, what is it all for? We all know what insomnia means, but I've asked myself this question too many times, too many times now. It's become more worn than my Reebok classics. I'm a slave to frivolous habits of introspecting without any destination. Room remaining thoughts in constant rotation. Is this what it means to be conscious? To constantly, to constantly question our conscience? Desperately fall on my back horizontally on my bed. There are monsters. They visit me when I try to sleep. Mm. There, those thoughts that play on repeat, they say, Ren, are you always going to suffer, Ren? Are you always going to suffer? And I boomerang between optimism and pessimism. <coughs> Excuse me. So much that my sanctuary could be a prison. What blinds me is, what blinds me could give me vision. And what finds me is this indecision of what do I do with these questions? Goodness. I, 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 my, my, my favorite piece, my favorite part in that piece was like of introspection without say, I'm a slave to frivolous habits of introspection without destination, rumbling thoughts in constant rotation. Is this what it means to be conscious or to constantly question our conscious? You know what I'm saying? I just think, I just think the way it's delivered is just so, uh, thoughtful, you know what I'm saying? And the way, the way he flowing on this, it makes it kind of. It reminds me of a spoken word. Optimism so much that my sanctuary could be a prison. What blinds me could give me vision. And what finds me is this indecision of what to do with these questions. Is there purpose? Is there God? And if there is God, then God, why do I feel like this God? Are we not sculpted in your image? Mm. And if so, do you feel that pain? Unrelinquishing pain like my brain got put under a Bunsen burner and torch until the membranes became flame. I hate not sleeping. I like the weekend because other people don't sleep either. Mindless TV shows irritate me, but they're my messiah because I can become brain dead, wasted, lost in trails of dry saliva. But I'm a survivor. Ooh. <laughs> he said, I like the weekend because other people don't sleep either. Mindless TV shows irritate me, but they're my messiah. Ooh. <laughs> I like that. I like that because I become brain dead, wasted, lost in trails of dry saliva. Ooh, <laughs> I like that. I like that. I like that because like when people act brain dead, they drool out of their mouth. You know what I'm saying? That's something zombies do. So that's pretty cool. I like the way he sculpted that. But I think Ren raises an important point. Like, you know, we're allowed to ask why, why am I going through this? You know what I'm saying? And a lot of times, when this introspection happened and you feel this rumbling and shaking in your soul, you never really uh, know where to go as far as like, um, trying to put those, trying to get yourself rightly aligned on what your purpose is. You know what I'm saying? It's a rough journey sometimes for a lot of people. Like the weekend because other people don't sleep either. Mindless TV shows irritate me, but they're my messiah because I can become brain dead, wasted, lost in trails of dry saliva. But I'm a survivor, a child of destiny. But this night has been testing me. Question the mess that's progressing, undressing me, stripping me naked and stuffing the stress in me. I used to use drinking as a way to stop thinking that my problems were drinking. Made me feel like I was sinking, so I dried up my drinking and I couldn't sleep a wink. And now I'm thinking, now I'm thinking, now I'm thinking, now I'm thinking about nothing. 
fucking nothing and everything and nothing. I hate not sleeping. So I lie here, trying to count sheep and their bleatings repeating My bleeding heart is beating and beating, eating My sleep is depleting, pleading for healing It's fleeting, longing for sleep, the so deep is peaking I weep in these sheets, it's doubling, doubling each other It's ugly, bleak, it's so bleak, it's so bleak And I lost my mind on a line I hate not sleeping I hate not sleeping I like that. I like that. I like that a lot. Um, no. Oh my God. <laughs> All right. So I, I like that whole thing. It's the whole, the whole structure of the whole thing. It was like, uh, Hmm. I, I like how you say I'm a survivor, a child of destiny. He destiny's child so made a song called Survivor. Um, even the even the chorus or the vocals even kind of mirrored that too. He said, But this night has been testing me, questioning me, the mess that's progressing me, addressing me, strip naked, but the stuff and the stress in me. <laughs> the imagery in that line right there was crazy. See, I used to uh I used to use to drink as a way to stop thinking, and my problems with drinking made me feel like I was sinking, so I dried up my drink. And then I couldn't sleep in a wink. And now I'm thinking, now I'm thinking, now I'm thinking, now I'm thinking about nothing. Nothing and everything and nothing. I hate sleeping. So I lie here trying to count sheep and they're blatant repeating my beating heart. And I like how he kind of like when he went into that beating heart part, he's poo poo, poo poo. Boom, boom. And the flow was like that. You know what I'm saying? My beating, my heart, my beating, eating, my sleeping. I'm, my sleep is depleting, pleading for healing. It's fleeting and the longer for, you know what I'm saying? So that, I thought that was pretty cool. I like how Ren kind of, he does this thing kind of like um, James Maynard from Tool. You know what I'm saying? He kind of likes to design his lyrics around the sounds of the song. So it kind of makes me think that Ren comes up with the melodies and everything else first and then comes up with the lyrics, you know what I'm saying, afterwards. So I wonder. I wonder how Ren writes, man. Let me know in the comments, uh in the, let me know in the conversation how you guys feel about this one. All right. We catch y'all later, man. Peace.